a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. This one is uh, one that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, the title of this painting is called The Tall Tale of Tommy Turcott, which is also the name of my upcoming graphic novel that I'm going to be releasing here on YouTube for free for the entire world to view and love and hate and do whatever they want with and maybe make some comments and uh, pass it on to their friends. Like I said, if you are interested in uh, checking out this comic, I will be uploading uh, a sort of a teaser trailer of the first eight pages sometime in the near future. The book itself is entirely done. I wrote it a couple years ago, illustrated it last year, and then I've just finished all the tech work on like the word balloons and uh, finding, tuning any of the illustrations on the computer. So uh, I'm really excited. Uh, looking forward to uploading it for everybody on YouTube. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do. Now back to the painting. This is going to be the cover of my graphic novel. As you can see, uh, it's depicting a sort of forest scene with uh, two characters on a ledge uh, staring at it, what appears to be a pyramid, which it freaking ain't. Anyways, my wife thinks it looks like a pyramid. It's actually just supposed to be a damn mountain. But anyways, whatever, it can be a pyramid, a mountain. Anyway, it's covered in trees and grass and dirt and all that other crap. So, <laughs> just teasing. Anyways, yeah, so this is going to be the uh, the cover for, for the graphic novel. It shows the character Tommy Turcott with uh, another character that's in the book. And for those of you that are interested and know about my cryptid work, especially with Bigfoot, or the North American version of Bigfoot, Sasquatch, uh, that is what the title of this, or that is what this book is, is basically about. It's about a young boy named Tommy Turcott, who at the age of four, while camping with his parents and his older sister, he goes missing. A strange looking creature that is bipedal in appearance comes out of the woods and makes off with Tommy and takes him away and he's never seen again. And then we advance ten years later and Tommy is found. And that is basically the story and how it unfolds throughout the, the book. Um, I sort of take you in an adventure and sort of explain my views of what I think could potentially be the Bigfoot creature and how this creature would fit into the world that we're in right now and um, one of the big things I'm, uh, I love is history and, and whatnot so uh, the book has a lot of uh, history a lot of action a lot of Bigfoots uh, some guns and uh, no swear words though there's a few you know um, colorful words but no swears so if you're a young person or you're a parent that has a kid that's interested in this by all means let them check it out uh, it's a very 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 uh, I personally think good story with some pretty good illustrations. Um, in in this book in particular, I, I didn't try to focus on detail or artwork. I really focused on story and trying to present it. I've never actually successfully completed a comic book. I've had many tryouts with Marvel and DC, and uh, I've sent stuff off, and uh, I've never had a lot of success. Uh, so this is my attempt to just write a story and illustrate it the way I want to and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, just a little bit about the technical aspect of what it is that I did in this drawing. I laid it all out in pencil. I'm showing a scene that's from the actual book, so when you check it out you'll, you'll see that there's, a repro that there's a slightly smaller illustration that inspired this. And it's the lead character, Tommy Turcott, with another character gazing out on the open woodlands, basically their realm, so to speak. I won't give too much away because I really want folks to check it out. Uh, I, I ink it all after I pencil it, then I use a, a nice color palette with a lot of greens and browns, and I go ahead and color it. And uh, and now I just got to scan it and put a little some decals on it to the tall tale of Tommy Turcotte, Turcot, and it'll all be ready for for view. Anyways, this is just the time lapse to show you how I created. Anyway, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and when the time comes, please check out. Please, please, please check out The Tall Tale of Tommy Turcott. I'm not looking for any monetary gain with this. Uh, well, don't get me wrong, if somebody said, hey, we want to buy this and release it and make you rich, I would agree. But for now, i just, I got to get some of these stories out of my head before I go insane. Anyways, Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.